Okay guys, welcome to your um, your third, or no, fourth, <coughs> fourth tutorial. So, in today's video, we're going to be doing um, basic math on Lua, okay? So, pretty simple stuff. It's just basic math. It's called arithmetic, so that's when it's going to be titled the video. But, um, it's basically just basic math that you do um, in Lua. So, let's go ahead and get started and start off our script. So, I already inserted the script, but to do that, you're just going to click the plus button here type in script and then click that but I already have mine so I'm gonna double click mine and now I have it so I'm gonna delete all what I have because that, that was relevant but anyways um, basically basic math um, you need to know this stuff because in Lua or in any programming language you're gonna need to do some math now if you don't like math or in your least favorite subject you're bad at it maybe it's okay alright trust me not every scripter is good at math there are a lot of scripters that aren't good at math personally I'm like okay at math, it's not my favorite subject, but I, I don't mind it, but it's pretty simple what we'll be doing here, it's nothing like too complex, it's just adding, dividing, and multiplying and stuff like that. Anyways, so I'm going to be assuming you guys know how to divide, <laughs> okay, and multiply, so anyways, let's get started. So, um, you can, as you all know, like basic math, so like 10 plus 10 would be equal to 20, right? And you can't just run 10 plus 10 because Lua doesn't know what to do with this 10 plus 10. So you could print 10 plus 10 like this, like you can go like this and type in print and then hit play and then obviously it's gonna print it and that's 20. And um, you can minus it or you can subtract it. So you can do um, a minus symbol, which is gonna be zero. 10 minus 10 is zero. And you can multiply it with this it's the asterisk, it's the key above your 8, so hold shift and press the 8 key. And this is going to be 100 because 10 times 10 is 100. So then, you can also do um, this. You can divide it. Now, this is going to give you 1 because 10 divided by 10 is 1. So a number divided by itself is, is 1. So it's going to be 1. Yeah, but you guys all know what that means. Um, but yeah, these are basically the symbols you use to um, do it. Anyways, um, why you need to know this is because you maybe you need to do stuff with um, these variables. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the base plate, all right? And um, as you see here, the, my properties are over here, okay? And now when, when you have the base plate selected, all of the properties on the left side can all be changed with scripts, okay? So I can make it so it's not an anchor with the script. I can make it so it's archivable with the script. I can make it so the transparency is higher with the script. I can change the material. I can change the color. I can do everything, okay? So we're going to use this script, okay? Here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to get, um, a, we're going to make a variable, okay? We're going to call it um, um, part uh, transparency, okay? So, yeah, we're going to make a variable called part transparency, all right? And now, transparency works in that it's a decimal point, okay? So once it goes to one, it stops. So right now, you don't see a base plate because it's it's 100% transparent, okay? So if it's in the middle, there's halfway, and you know, on the right, or on the left, obviously, it's completely not see-through. So anyways, you're gonna type in local part transparency, and we can do point, um, 0.3 for 3.0 plus 0 0.30. And now, obviously, point 0.30 plus point 0.30 is gonna give you point 0.6. Now, you're probably saying, oh, okay, well, how would it change the transparency because it's not actually equal to it. So what you do instead, or to what you do to make um, this part transparency equal to the actual transparency of the base plate is you would go like this, okay? This is going to be what you call object-oriented programming, okay? So whenever there's like a dot um, like this, okay? Whenever there's dots like this, that means it's object-oriented. Now, I'm going to explain to you what that means right now. So object-oriented basically just means that it, there's objects, okay? So let, let me just break this down, all right? So, um... Everything you see in the Explorer on your right side of the screen, right? Everything you see here is all under the game. Okay, so ima like, put an imaginary thing called game right here. Now, that was a search filter, so <laughs> it's going to make everything go disappear. But um, put, put an imaginary game right here, okay? And now all of these are under the game. So basically, whenever you type like uh, something in, you're going to use game always. But anyways, um, you see how it says workspace, and then it says script, camera, terrain, all this stuff? Now, if I click that arrow, it'll go away, right? But these camera, terrain, child, script, and 
Base plate are all children of the workspace. You understand? Like, cause they're like they're lower and they're to the right of it. Now these aren't children. These are all equal. Or these are all of these are children of the game. But these, cause since there's like an indent, there's all children of the workspace. Okay. So how you know that is you would just click on the arrow. You look to the right. You'd see. So remember, put the imaginary game here. So game, and then dot. What is it? Workspace and then dot base plate. That's how you get your base plate in your script. Okay. Now, um, this is the workspace is also the parent of the base plate. So if you see on your property side over here, it says the parent is workspace because obviously you go up to the left workspace. So, so child is like below it and parent is like above it. Okay. But if they're on the same level, then they're just, they're not parent or child of each other. Anyways, um, now, now obviously you're not going to see um, the transparency, you're like, oh, okay, well, I don't see the child transparency under the base plate. And that's because it's not actually a child or an object, it's just a variable. So it's part of the data in here, or the appearance, okay? So you're going to see on the property side, the base plate dot transparency, okay, here, is equal to, um, you can make it equal to 0.5 or, or 1. But we're going to change it to part transparency, okay? So, basically, um, the part transparency is equal to 0.6 or 0 0.60. So the transparency of the base plate will turn to 0 0.60. So let's go ahead and play the game and show you what I mean. Alright, and you see, boom, the transparency is 0 0.60. So it's pretty cool what you can do with scripts. This is just like one thing of object-oriented programming, okay? This is what you call it. But, anyways... You can also just change it directly with numbers. So with 0.5, maybe you want to do 0.5 halfway, and obviously it's going to make it 0.5. And see, well, it doesn't look much different from 0.6, but yeah. And you can also just change it, or you can also do every other value in there. So you can do reflectance is equal to um, 1, right? Because it goes from 0 to 1. So it would be 100% or 1% one one reflectance. So, and then you could also change the material. So game.workspace.baseplate.reflectance, um, or not material, my bad. That material is equal to, and now you're probably saying, okay, well, this isn't a number. It's a string. Okay, that's what it is. This isn't a number. So you can't say material is equal to 2. No, it's a number. So, or it's a string. So what you do is you would put in quotation marks, um, wood. You know, maybe you wanted the material to be wood. And as you can see down here, there's wood, and then it's going to change the base plate to wood. So I'll show you what I mean here. And boom, <laughs> that looks really weird, but um, yeah, that's that's what it looks like. But yeah, anyways, that's what I mean by this. And also, maybe you know, whenever you're scripting, right? This is another this is another use for variables. But whenever you're scripting, you don't want to type in game dot base plate. It would take so long, right? So what you do is you would do local base plate is equal to game dot workspace dot base plate and now you can delete this stuff because you already have the base plate Do you see what I'm saying you already have the base plate so you can just skip all that stuff okay so basically you can access from the base plate because it already knows what base plate you're talking about okay so base plate dot anchored is equal to false, okay? Because it's a Boolean value. So if it's a check mark, that means it's a Boolean value. So if it's checked, that means it's true. If it's false, that means it's not true, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and hit play, and it's gonna fall out of the sky because it's not anchored anymore. You see? Woo! <laughs> and it disappeared because that's Roblox engines, or Roblox's engine. So yeah, that's basically uh, basic math and a little bit of object-oriented programming and how um, Lua itself and the programming language works. Anyways, guys, I hope you did uh, learn from this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you got a little bit confused and you saw me have a question on, then just let me know in the comments. I've replied to every comment so far on this entire YouTube channel. So yeah, if you have a question, I will be sure to respond. Anyways, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video.